We are getting our first look at the body camera footage that shows a Prince George's County police officer shooting and killing a man inside an apartment in Suitland. Yeah, it happened back on February 1st. Police say an officer responding to a breaking and entering call went into the apartment alone. A short time later, the officer shot and killed Melvin Jay. Jay was in his own apartment. News Force's Mauricio Casillas walks us through what happened and what police are now saying about this shooting. We have to warn you, the video you're about to see is graphic. News 4 has edited it so that it's safe for TV. What's that unit again? The body camera footage starts with Officer Braxton Shelton parking at the Wyndham Creek Apartments and walking toward the unit where the alleged break-in had taken place. Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Bring your ass over here! Show me your hands! Show me your... Shut up! It's like a, uh, one down. As you just saw, Officer Shelton walks into the apartment, does not identify himself as an officer, and begins to command Melvin Jay to put his hands up. 35 seconds pass between the time Officer Shelton got out of his police cruiser and fired the deadly shot. After the shot was fired, Officer Shelton notices another man in the apartment. Uh, do you live here? No. Why are you in here? That's my cousin. Who is he? That's my brother. Additional officers arrive and they begin to search the home. They try to render aid to Melvin Jay, but he was pronounced dead on scene. Prince George's County Police say a gun was recovered in Melvin Jay's pocket and another was found near the kitchen sink. In the video, it's hard to tell if Jay is holding anything and police have yet to say if the guns were even his. The Prince George's County Police Department released the 911 call that was made that first alerted officers to a break-in. In it, you can hear the caller say he was told by a neighbor that someone was breaking into his apartment. Police say the 911 caller and Melvin Jay are related, and the person who allegedly broke into the apartment is also a relative. Police say the 911 caller never mentions that his cousin, Jay, may be inside. I need the police there right now. They're breaking in my house. News 4 has learned Jay's family is now being represented by the Murphy Falcon and Murphy Law Firm. The law firm is aware the video was released and said in a statement, quote, Our team has begun the initial phase of the case investigation and will refrain from providing further comments at this time, end quote. Officer Shelton remains on administrative leave and the Maryland Office of the Attorney General continues to investigate the shooting. It's unclear if or when the officer may face charges. Mauricio Casillas, News 4. Now, Prince George's County Police Chief Malik Aziz put out his own video response to the shooting. It was recorded by the department. News 4 was unable to ask the chief any questions regarding the shooting. The Maryland Attorney General's office says Officer Shelton has a total of four years of law enforcement experience.